Hi everyone, my name is Questor. Welcome to the ninth episode of my unofficial program, Guild Wars for All Levels for the game Gems of War. For today's episode, we're going to highlight a troop that we can use for Guild Wars at any level. That troop is Forest Guardian. Forest Guardian was suggested by Pedro C, one of our viewers, so shoutouts to Pedro. Okay, so Forest Guardian is a yellow-green divine beast from the kingdom of Mogrim Woods. He's a support troop that protects fellow beasts and gives them mana boosts in the beginning of the battle. Forest Guardian works well with offensive frontline tanks because he converts gems to skulls, making him a skull spammer as well. So let's look, take a look at his abilities. Forest Guardian transform purple gems to skulls and transform brown gems to green. Allied Beasts gain barrier. And he has Beast Bond, Invigorated for his traits, and he also has Lord of Beasts for his third trait, which gives all beasts 50 mana, 50% mana at the start of the battle. So Forest Guardian works well with all beasts. Um, so these are all the beasts, but for the purposes of Guild Wars, we're just gonna focus on beasts that share his color. So that would be green beasts and yellow beasts. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with a Guild War battle. Um, uh, pre let's pretend this is Guild Wars and we're fighting against this team. And so we're gonna use an entry level Guild Wars team composed of Lion Prince, a rare troop, Forest Guardian, Princess Elspeth, um, you would want her fully traded, if not, that's okay, and Periton. Periton is, we're using Periton for the plus 5 to all skills to yellow allies, but if you don't have Periton, you can use Moa instead. And we're using the banner of plus 2 yellow, plus 1 green, minus 1 blue. We're not really using purple and brown directly but because forest guardian transforms purples to skulls and browns to green then we're actually using all colors directly and indirectly okay let's get started with this game so it's always good to have uh, princess elspeth fully traded so can you so you can use her at the start of the game right away and she's gonna be our mana generator Okay, as you see, Lion Prince and Forest Guardian are up right away. And do we have alignment? I believe we don't. So let's go ahead and use Lion Prince right away. And let's destroy a row. And since there's no extra turn possibility, let's just des destroy a row with a lot of yellow colors. Okay, this is an extra turn. As you see, a fully traded line prince can stun opponents. That's why he's a good tank. So we don't have alignment. So let's get these yellows. Okay. Yes, now we have alignment. These purples align with these skulls. So let's use Forest Guardian and transform purples to skulls. Okay, got rid of that one. And then let's attack this one. All right. So let's use Lion Prince again. And let's get rid of these, this row, okay. Okay, that does nothing um, because Forest Garden isn't our frontline tank. So now let's kill out that uh, search not hot helm. Okay, get these reds again. We're at full mana. Um, instead of attacking, I'm just gonna get these yellows. Okay, I'll get more yellows. Okay, now we have alignment again. These 
browns aligned with these greens so let's transform it there you go and let's attack again now let's use lion prince let's cast this ability and remove let's see do we have an extra turn possibility let's remove this one so the greens align this row should work okay i don't want that goblin king casting but we don't have a choice so let's use princess elspeth and get uh sacrifice this last slot hopefully we get reds or greens both work okay all right so he summons someone else get these blues um we have oh he's back so we have this person this summon troop up let's use this person uh, this summon troops ability on goblin king want to get rid of that goblin king so it stops summoning troops now do we have alignment um no we don't so let's match these okay still no alignment but we can use lion prince and let's use it again on mm, which row do we remove probably not that one let's just remove this top row okay still no alignment but you know what even there's no alignment let's just go ahead and cast forest guardian okay all right we won okay so that team should work at low levels now we'll try a team okay let's not let's not fight this one it has gorgotha so let's refresh again it has gorgotha because we have a skull spam team we don't want to go up against gorgotha gorgotha has um such a high dam uh, skull mitigation that um it's not going to be effective to go up against him so let's see this should be fine this should be well yeah this should be fine okay so let's do a, a, le a mid a level team basically you could use this team um at mid level it only has fenrir a, an epic minigore i believe an ultra rare soothsayer is a rare troop so you can grab soothsayer with just using uh gold keys and glory keys and these other two um while you get them both they're not legendary so they're not as hard to get but as you progress through the game you'll get them and so this is our team fenrir really works very well in this team because he um he increases the attack of your fellow troops um beasts for example so um this team uses this is a green team it uses all colors except for purple um direct indirectly though we're using purple because again first guardian converts purples to skulls okay and our banner is plus two brown plus one blue and minus one purple so it totally works and let's get started As you see, you want to have Soothsayer fully traded so you can cast this ability right away. Soothsayer will be our mana generator. And um, let's use this ability on this purple so it will match those greens when we remove this row. Okay.
Now, let's use Fenrir's ability to give an ally attack in life and double the effect if an ally is beast. And since Fenrir is also a beast, you can use it on himself and he doubles his life and attack gain. Okay, now we have Minigore. Um, Minigore's attack is higher than the attack of other teams. And so if his attack is greater, he, do he, de he deals triple damage. So let's use it against Christine X. Okay. And attack Christine X and Christine X down. So now we have Forest Guardian up. Do we have alignment? Uh, no, we don't. But we what we have is Soothsayer is up again. So let's see. Let's remove some purples. So Soothsayer. And what would be good? There doesn't seem to be an extra turn. So let's just remove this one. Okay. Now do we have alignment? No, we don't. Still no alignment. So let's get these reds. Okay. Um, hope we can kill that. No, we we don't have moves that can kill that dragon soul. So, well, actually, we can kill dragon soul. Um, but we don't have an extra turn match. That's fine. Let's use. Let's use Forest Guardian, convert these purples to skulls, and we can kill out Dragon Soul. And provide shield for the entire team. Get these greens. Okay. Get these yellows. Alright. So Minigore's up. Let's use Minigore on Christine X. Okay. And let's grab these greens. Okay. So let's go ahead and increase the attack of Minagore. Just in case Force Guardian dies, we have Minagore to replace it. Okay. And as you see, Leviathan shifted the arrangement, but since we have Minigore uh, attack increased, um, we still have a very effective tank. Remove that troop, kill that troop, and then let's grab these yellows, um, grab these reds. Okay, grab these greens. Now, do we have alignment? Yes, we do. These browns align with these greens, so let's transform the browns to green. Okay, that should be the match. All right. So you can use that team from mid level to high level. And now I'm gonna use a team that I use in Guild Wars. Let's skip this one though, it has Gorgotha. Oh, again, he has Gorgotha. You don't want Gorgotha. Gorgotha has uh, granite skin. Again, you see here, Gorgotha, granite skin, reduce damage from skulls by 75%. So that really counters out a skull spam team. So not Gorgotha. Okay, they have Gorgotha again. So... Hmm, probably not. Okay, let's get a team that doesn't have Gorgotha. Okay, this should work. Okay, so this team I use in Guild Wars. Uh, it has, again, it has Fenrir, Force Guardian, Wolf Garok, and Urai. Urai is um, a, a Guild War exclusive troop that you can get by just winning Guild Wars or participating in Guild Wars. 
If you don't have Orion, you may have another Mythic. That Mythic may be Queen Aurora, so that would be great if you have Queen Aurora, use her instead of Orion. I don't have Queen Aurora, so we're going to use Orion instead because Orion gives plus 5 to all green allies. We're using a green team, and here we have Wolf Garrett. Um, he's a Mythic, but he's also a Beast, so they're all Beasts. And um, we're using plus two green banner. We're not using brown directly, but again, Force Guardian use, converts brown gems to green, so all colors are used. Okay, let's get started with Steam. All right, at the start, we get these greens right away. You want you want to cast your ability right away against a Scion, so Scion doesn't rob your mana and cast it on himself okay and we're gonna grab these yellows all right first guardian is up right away let's see do we have alignment yes we do these purples align with that skull so let's transform there you go kill out that troop right away and then let's get these greens that's gone too as you see, Fenrir is really powerful, and this troop is also a goner. There you go. And get these greens. Okay. We're gonna grab these yellows. Grab these greens. And let's grab these skulls and there you have it very easy so that was it that was our troop forest guardian from the kingdom of the Grimwoods so that's it for this episode's highlight of a troop Next episode um, is gonna be in. We're gonna is gonna be involved in using the hero as a guild war troop. So the hero is gonna be talked about for next episode. I hope you tune in again, and thank you for watching. Uh, this is Quester. Have a great day. Later.